Hey friends, how are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing so, so well, and I'm super excited to be back today with another video. I'm still feeling slightly under the weather. Jeremy is sick as well, so we are staying inside, we're staying safe but I still wanted to be able to get on and share some videos with you guys. So recently, Jeremy and I went home to Indiana for Christmas. Both of our families live in Indiana. And for the past couple months, I've been going back to Indiana for some different like wedding events. I was a maid of honor in a wedding. I would fly there and then I'd thrift things and I would have to leave stuff at my parents' house until I eventually could bring things back. So we went home for Christmas, we drove there, and we finally were able to bring all of these different amazing things that I have been thrifting for the past couple months that I had been leaving in Indiana. So I have this huge pile of really cool home decor that I have been thrifting and not been able to bring home that I am really excited to share with you guys. I know that sometimes you guys like my thrifted home decor videos, so if you do enjoy home decor and thrifting it, then make sure you give this video a thumbs up. I am a full-time reseller of clothing, but when I find a good home piece, like I love to decorate my house. So let's jump into today's thrift haul. So if you guys have watched my other home decor videos, then you'll know that I really enjoy a lot of like more neutral and natural textures and materials. I really love brass. I love terracotta. I love a lot of vintage pieces pieced together. It's a little boho, but it also has a twist of vintage. That's my style. And so I love finding things that are natural. So I found these two different wooden candlestick holders and I have two other ones that I thrifted when I was thrifting for my wedding but I was so excited to find these to add to my collection. I got these at this little market that they had every month at my hometown right next door to my house. There's a coffee shop, a candy store, and all these really cute little, like this antique mall. It's a really cute little setup. And they have a little market, a little flea market every month there during the spring and summer. And so I went over there and I found a lot of this stuff that you're gonna see in today's haul at that market. So I got each of these for 50 cents. I love small town prices, guys. This one is so beautiful. I love how it's turned. It honestly looks like a newel. And then I love that this one has that big knot in the center of it. I think that's really cute. So I thought these were absolutely adorable and I'm really happy that I picked both of these up for about a dollar. I'm pretty sure I actually might've gotten them for less than that because I got quite a few things from this one booth and so she gave me a good deal on everything. So very happy with that. Then the next pieces I picked up is this really cool salt and pepper shaker set. So obviously I'm not gonna use these for salt and pepper. They are, um, I don't know if they would be safe to put salt and pepper in at this point, but they are so beautiful to me. I love how they're distressed. I love how they have aged. They have so many cool details on them. I'm assuming at one point this one had the same kind of topper as that one, but it almost looks like it was either cut off or tore off. I personally don't care. I think that they have beautiful detail. They're definitely pretty old. That's what they look like on the bottom. I'm planning on just using these as home decor. I think they're pretty cool. I love the colors of them. I don't normally like a silver, but since these are kind of tarnished, I really do like those. And I got these for a dollar for both. <laughs> so uh, yeah, pretty good deal. I love them. I'm very happy with those. Then this next thing is something I was really excited to find. And it is this little set of three books. And it was tied together with this ribbon. And the story behind this, this lady that I was buying these things from, I've bought quite a few things from her little booth. She apparently, I think, got some things from a state sale or from maybe a great grandmother. And these books all belong to this woman and so did this little ribbon that she tied them together with but I love styling up old books I think that they're so beautiful these ones had so much texture and color I love them and I love the meaning behind them as well this lady was a devout Christian I am also a Christian and this is a holy bible and a daily psalm book and the new testament a Roman Catholic version. So I'm not Catholic, but I just thought these were beautiful and I'm gonna use them as home decor. So not only will these keep on living on in my home, but they'll be a really beautiful thing for me to look at, especially since they're kind of falling apart. It's good to look at them and not use them probably. So I got those and I'm pretty sure this is part of the whole um, bundle I made with this woman. So I paid probably about a dollar for those as well, which is insane. Now the same lady I got those books from and the salt shaker set, I got these little 
brown amber glass jars from. I love amber glass. I just think it's so pretty. It's my favorite type of glass. I have quite a few of these. I collected them for my wedding. And I also had one more that I got from this lady, but it's upstairs in my bathroom and I'm too lazy to walk up the stairs. It's a little bit hard to get the energy to do a lot right now. I don't feel super great, but I especially love this one. I think that this is a great shape and it is absolutely stunning. So I got both of these, I'm pretty sure for probably right about a dollar. <laughs> And I am obsessed. Like imagine these with just one little dainty flower coming out of them, styled up like along my tub. It's too much, it's too good. So I got those. And then again, from the same lady, I got this really old domino set. So I grew up playing dominoes with my grandpa and this really reminded me of their set that they had at their house. And my mom actually found this first, but she let me buy it because she thought that I would actually use it. And it would probably just sit around at their house but this is from originally Wolf and Death Sour, and it was originally 98 cents, but like, look at this. It also still has all of the dominoes inside, and it is so pretty. They have lines on them. I think these are so cool. Look at how cool that looks. <laughs> They're definitely older. I love that they have more of a vintage look and feel to them. They feel thick. They are wooden and I think they're so pretty. So I'll probably leave them inside the box and use the whole thing as a display piece. I think they would look really cool even just layered with the box sitting upright on a shelf. I think that's really pretty. So I grabbed those and I probably, I think I paid like two or three bucks for those. So I got those at the same place as the book and the salt and pepper shaker set. And then I'm pretty sure the last two things I got from that booth are these two pieces. The first one being this piece of handmade pottery. And I just thought this was a really cool color scheme. I love handmade pottery. I took a ceramics class while I was in college and I fell in love with the art of creating pots and just pottery in general. It really was almost like a spiritual experience for me. I love pottery. Um, I thought this was a really interesting piece. This handle is a little weird to me. It looks almost like a caterpillar or slug, like something about it kind of creeps me out a little bit, but I love this part of it. So I think I'll probably use this just as decor. I probably won't actually sip anything out of this, but I just thought this was absolutely stunning. I love the glaze on it and it's really, really pretty. So it's kind of a smaller cup. It's not a super large one. So I thought that was kind of unique and I'm pretty sure I paid like three or four bucks for this mug and for a handmade piece, that is insane. Just the amount of work that went into this is just, kind of crazy, it's mind boggling. So I love that piece. I'm happy I picked that up. And then the next item is one of my favorites. And when I first bought all these pieces, I FaceTimed Jeremy to show them to him because I was excited about them. And this one is his personal favorite piece. And it is this really cool goblet. Like, is that not sweet? Also, I turned on, <laughs> I don't have a frame TV. Do I wish I had one? For sure. But do I wish I had paid for one? No, um, but I do have a regular smart TV and I thought I would put on a little cozy fireplace for us. Um, but I did pick up this really cool kind of coppery gold brass little goblet. You can probably honestly even see the camera in this reflection. But I thought this was so neat and it actually says something on it. Let me find it. It's hard to see it. Oh, you're, you're not gonna be able to see this, but I will read it to you. I bet you can barely see the words etched into the service, but let me read it to you. I thought this was so cool. It says, open class West Arm Day, first place 1985. So if any of you guys know what a West Arm Day is, West Arm Day, so interesting. If you guys know what that means, please let me know. I'm so interested. I love finding little pieces of history and the decorating with them. I think it's so much fun. So somebody apparently had this at one point for winning first place and I don't, it's definitely not real gold or anything. It's just really beautiful and I love this shape. I think the shape is really, really adorable with that really thin long stem and then that big more circular actual goblet area. I think it's really pretty. So I got this. I love the distressing on this and this is gonna go on a shelf somewhere as well. I love decorating. It's just so much fun, guys. I also went to this place. We call it Amish Target back in Indiana. It's this place where they just get like Target returns and they resell them. So, but I got this Revlon style curl and volumized hot air kit for $12. And my sister also bought one and her friend also bought one Chandler. So we all got one and they work really well, but I got that for $12. 
And then I also found this hearth and hand curtain, which is a light filtering curtain. It's 95 inches, which is the exact same size of curtains that I've been buying from hearth and hand for our new home. And guys, let me tell you, window treatments are expensive. I hate that. This was originally what? $30 for one panel. I got it for $15. So not, still not very, not a great deal in general, but much better than paying $30, which is what I paid brand new for some other ones I bought. So since this was in the same like brand, I love Hearth and Hand. I thought I'd pick this up at Amish Target for $15. I'll buy a curtain rod and then we'll hang this in one of our windows that only has one panel. So I'm excited that I picked that up. And then also from a regular Goodwill, I picked up these two Reader's Digest books. Now I like to pick up the Reader's Digest or bestsellers, things like that, because they usually have a really nice little gold script on the spine and also on the actual pages themselves. And I liked these colors together. I do a lot of stacking of books for decor. Honestly, there's one right here. I stacked up two books underneath my little thrifted house over there for Christmas decor. Um, I just think it adds some good height differentials between things. And I thought these were a pretty color combination. So I got each of these for 50 cents at a Goodwill. And that at one of those booths at that flea market I was telling you guys about, I got both of these pieces plus tons of different scarves plus a brass bird. The brass bird is upstairs as well. I got a lot of things, but I was nice to the lady and we had a good chat. And so she gave a lot of things to me for free. I paid $5 in total to get the brass bird, about 20 different scarves, this little candle holder. It's just a black base candle holder. It's gonna hold a more like, um, you know, one of those bigger candles. What are those called? Like a pillar candle to hold a pillar candle. I have some black taper candle holders, so I thought this would be a good um, size difference with those. And then I also got at that same booth this piece, which is what I was actually interested in. This is what I was willing to pay the $5 for by itself, and so everything else was just kind of an added bonus. But it is this really cool test tube holder set. I don't know if it's supposed to be for test tubes. It probably isn't. I love the gold accents. These little balls come off. So I'm not really sure what is going on with this, but it is a set of five test tubes, but I thought it'd be so cute to do little plant propagations in this. Now, I'm sorry, this is really hard to show. So I can do some plant propagations in this. Honestly, you could use it for something else. You could put anything you want in these, but I just thought that's what I would use it for. But I love the gold base that it's sitting on and it is really, really pretty. Like, look at this. It's very interesting. I've never seen anything like it before. So I would obviously, I would definitely pay $5 just for this. So it was nice that I got a lot of other things added in for free. It was very sweet of her. I actually left a lot of those scarves at home with my mom. And I think we might be actually having her turn them into some scrunchies or something cute like that. So. We'll see where that goes. So I have now three more things to share with you guys. The last two are from in the bins and they're two of my favorite things, but I also want to show you this. I stopped at a random little, little mom and pa thrift store over in a nearby town to my hometown. And I found this there. I believe I paid like a dollar or two for this. Now the clock of this does not work, but this is a vintage Mickey Mouse Disney clock. And then down here on this little etching, it says Merry Christmas 1991. So that's like almost 30 years, 30 years old. That's crazy, it's 30 years old, whoo, okay. Um, Okay, existential crisis, no no worries over here. But the thing that does work on this, which is kind of insane, is the sound. If you can see the bottom here, it's a kind of, if you can see the bottom here, it's all these different songs that it can play. So let me play it for you. <laughs> right? So literally, they all work. And I thought this was so cool. So I was deciding if I wanted to keep this for a future children's room, or if I wanted to resell this. The clock portion doesn't work. I bet it could be fixed, honestly. Oh, there is not a battery in the clock portion. So honestly, it probably does work. Um, so I could resell this or I could keep this for future children. I just thought it was really cute. So I grabbed that, but let me know down below what you guys think I should do with it. Should I resell this or should I keep it? Kids are um, far away, hopefully, down the road, but I thought it was pretty neat. And then the next piece, I got this. I love the shape of this basket. It is so pretty. I love rattan. I love these kinds of brownsy colors. And I got this in the bins. So I paid probably like 
maybe a nickel for this but I like the leaf design on this I love this little handle here it's very cute I actually have a basket wall going down from my main floor to my basement along the staircase and I thought this would be a really cute addition I like finding unique baskets to put on the wall because a lot of baskets after you go to the thrift store all the time you seem to find like the same basket over and over again do you know what I mean is that a real thing I feel like they're only certain kinds of baskets and then you somehow you find a random one that's actually really cool and different and you fall in love with it like I did so I got this for probably like a nickel and I'm gonna hang it on my basket wall but I thought that was really pretty and then the last thing that I found in the bins and one this piece I am so excited about this is one of my best finds of all time in the bins in my opinion and it is this amazing piece that fits perfectly with my home decor it is this magazine holder guys look at how beautiful this is it is wood and cane and i literally always go to the clothes section of my goodwill outlet first i go and look through the clothes section and then i go over to the home goods and i did that and this was just sitting on top nobody picked this up it's like do they not know the trends i don't get it look at the sides even if you didn't like this and you wanted to use the sides as like a cutting board it's beautiful i love it it's real wood and the cane is so pretty. And honestly, if you look behind me, I got this cane media console. I got that on Facebook Marketplace and it's originally from Target. And it's the same kind of vibe. Those are cane doors and then it's a wood surrounding it. So honestly, this could look really, really cute here in our living room. I think it would match really well. I love it. And since I found it in the bins, I probably paid like a dollar for this. Is that not insane? Maybe you don't like this. Maybe you hate it. I don't care. I love it. And it's really, it really fits in well with my style. And the crazy part too is none of the cane is broken. A lot of times with this, since this is a weaker fabric, it's more like, you know, like a weave. This will have a tear in it or it'll be broken and none of it's broken. So I was really happy to find this in good condition and to pay like $1 for it. It is absolutely crazy. So I picked that piece up and I love it. But I want to know what you guys liked best down below in the comments. Which of these pieces was your favorite? If this is your style, that's totally fine. I'm happy to share my style with you in hopes that it even helps you find out what your style is even more even if it's not clothes if it's home goods like I love sharing this sort of stuff because it's something that I personally love if you guys want to see more content like this more just sit down chatty videos with me instead of just hauls then make sure you let me know so all these pieces are thrifted so I won't be able to link them down below for you but maybe you can find something from your own searching that could be similar to something I showed in today's video if you really did enjoy something if you guys enjoyed today's video make sure you give it a thumbs up also if you have not already subscribed I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button but I hope you guys are having an amazing day I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and until the next video bye